Hi guys, welcome back to another video. A today's question on Aris topic is last index of 1. The question states that given a string s consisting only zeros and ones, print the last index of the one present in it. And if the string does not contain one present in it, then we print minus one. Let's consider the examples. In test case one, the string is 0, 0, 0, 0, 001. So as we can observe, the last index of one here is four. If we consider the indexing starts at 0. Similarly in test case 2 the string is 0 and since we don't have any 1 present in it the output here is minus 1. So now let's have a look at the approach to solve this particular problem. Let's consider the example of a string which is 0 1 0 1 0. Let's declare few variables namely uh, position and initialize it to minus 1 if in case there is no 1 in the string and we also declare a variable len which stores the length of the string. The right side of the screen shows the algorithm where we traverse the string from last character to first and at each traversal we check whether if that particular character is equal to 1. Since uh, str of 4 is not equal to 1 therefore we decrement i and again we check whether if string of i is equal to 1 and since str of 3 is equal to 1 therefore we update the value of position as i so the value of position is 3 now and we break out of the loop and finally print the value of position. So we print 3. So now let's begin with the actual code. Let's first declare the string str and input the string. As we have seen in the explanation part, we declare few variables namely position and initialize it to minus 1 as well as another variable len to store the length of the string and then we traverse the string from last character to the first that is we run a for loop from i is equal to len minus 1 to i is greater than or equal to 0 and at each traversal we check whether if that particular character is 1 that is we check whether if string of i is equal to 1 and if so then we update the value of position as i and break out of the loop and finally we print the position value which is pos and we can include the header file string and that's it we are done with the code we can compile it now. A code is compiled successfully so we can submit it. And a code got submitted successfully. So if you found the video helpful then do hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparations. Thank you.